Now the main switch is the only reason that you may want to cycle the main switch is if there's some kind of a, you know, a malfunction in the evening that you don't want to have to call somebody out for. You could try turning the power off on the affected elevator if it's car one or car two and they're labeled. Oftentimes the car will return to service and then a serviceman can come in the next morning and look at it. And Okay. Okay. Uh, that's the only reason really you'd want to turn this off. So in other words, you try to reset it. Yeah, it's just going to do it's, a reboot. And if it doesn't work, then the guy, then but you're. That's, <clears throat> that shouldn't. Uh, I mean, it, it does happen on a, in isolated cases, but it shouldn't be something that yeah. is done with any kind of regularity. No, but it will happen on the weekend, right? Ultimately, Ultimately Murphy's Law. Yeah, yeah, of course. Charge double time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Or in the evening. So it's, uh, and you also have the advantage of having two elevators. So you can also leave it just down and uh, malfunction, which is Ernie, the best Ernie, case scenario, right? Ernie would have a heart attack and call somebody over the weekend, 500 bucks an hour. Uh, no, I mean, it's best if you can. Okay. Without it, without, there's the touch-up. We have a oh, that's touch -up. system in the building. The whole building, okay. You know, you yeah, have, the other building has one element, right? Yeah. yeah. Oops, sorry. That's a touch-up paint for? The door frames. Oh, okay. Uh, the elevator elevator door frame touch-up. Super. Software glitch or something, or it doesn't do it correct reset. What will happen is it'll affect the other elevator. If it's here and it thinks it's the next car to operate, when you push the button, the other car won't open the door. Okay. So if you get a situation like that where all of a sudden one of your elevators stop working, then shut it off. Okay. Would it stop on the floor? So Okay, if there's a situation we have one gate elevator here, if this one comes up to two, will it stop on that floor so it can be open down there? Oh no, it'll, it'll respond to any of the other floors. It's just if, it, if this happens at the bottom floor, right. where both cars are at the bottom, yeah. because one of the cars is selected to be the next elevator, if it's the one malfunctioning, the other car won't open its door. So the best thing is to just turn this elevator power off. It doesn't happen. Or doesn't no, but it's it's just, it can't happen. Okay. <laughs> Any weird possibility because yeah. I don't want to have to explain to it. Yeah, no. I don't know what. You're trapped, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't interrupt my video. So that'll be helpful because um, now we won't park them both at the main floor, but ultimately at some point.